Hello, my name is Matt Harris, and here is my introduction here. First thing about me, I guess, during the first round of COVID two years ago, we decided to get a puppy. That is us in the top right-hand corner picking up that puppy. Um, the middle picture was this summer, which was the year anniversary, and that is how much everybody has grown in one year. Um, getting to know me here. This past year, I celebrated my 15th anniversary of being married to my wife. Um, we celebrated by going to Costa Rica. I have three wonderful kids and the dog that you saw there. I've been a math teacher for 20 years. I love to teach and coach. My father was also a teacher and coach for 32 years. The last 15 years, I have been in Inman, Kansas. Um, I graduated from K-State in 2001. Got my master's from Fort Hay State in 2008. Um, I love to hunt and fish, be outdoors. I love to share that passion with my kids. I'm a lifelong resident of Kansas, and I wouldn't trade anything for it. Um, has been a decade since I've been a student. First time using Google Slides. First time using Screencastify. And I am feeling like I'm a little behind. Real quickly about my kids, I picked five bullet points. This is my daughter Sutton. She is 13 year old. She's an eighth grader. She loves sports. She lo plays volleyball, basketball, track. She loves the TikTok. Funny, smart, and she's the sweetheart. My oldest son, Crew Matthew. He's a uh, oldest boy. He's 11 years old, sixth grader. He loves to play football, basketball, baseball. Very competitive to a fault. Joker of the family, and he also loves to hunt and fish. This is my youngest, McLean Roy. He is eight years old. He's a third grader. He loves to be outside. He doesn't like the gyms. He's kind of followed the other two around too much. Loves football and baseball. Loves to fish and hunt, and he swims like a fish. Um, this is what I went about with uh, the inclusive. The top is just if you're lucky enough to have it, you just need to make sure you maintain it. But down below there, to start one in the school, you must be a friendly and welcoming environment. Use of inclusive language by everyone. Partnership between parents, teacher, students. Um, prevention of the use of derogatory language. Diverse literacy in classrooms and library. Respect between teachers and students. Acceptance, not tolerance. Make sure staff is trained well in inclusive culture. Make sure teachers are comfortable enough to address situations in hallways instead of just uh, skipping over and acting like you didn't hear them, which is the easy way to go about it. Um, the advocates. I Unfortunately, I, I thought there was many, you know, all the people that could be advocates in a school. So principal, teacher, para, custodian, cook, secretary, coach. They're just a few of the ones I could come up with. But, it, it you know, it could even be more in there. Um, school leader needs to be in front, leading the adults or even students to be advocates for each other. I thought that would be number one. Um, my idea for uh, to get an advocacy going was uh, to have like a mentor programming. And uh, the you know, the straight A athletes, those are the easy kids, but the ones that are the troublesome kids that, you know, those are the ones that you have to find advocates for. And, and there's people around the school, you just have to find them. Um, plans to implement treatments, um, safe, friendly, warm learning environment. All kids learn together age appropriate in the same, re same classroom, regardless of race or learning ability. All kids, same opportunity. All teachers and staff work together for, for the whole class or individual. Every student learns differently, so multiple strategies are used and adopted to find which works best for the individual student. Respect towards all individuals in the classroom and values each one bring the classroom. Make sure to include parents. That's big. Um, steps to be taken to change negative assumptions about inclusive culture. I think the number one is you need to be transparent. Uh, there's going to be positive and negatives, but if you try to hide the negatives, then it's just going to come back to haunt you. So you must be transparent. Involve the parents as much as possible. The, the bigger imprint they have, then, they're, then they don't have a lot to complain about. Um, foster relationship between parents and teachers as much as possible. It need to be one fluid community and team. Um, always met, mention the benefits of inclusion. Have to make sure there's no bullying or any students that are being excluded by their pair, peers. Have high expectations for all students. All right, that is what I had. Thank you.